from the CBS Broadcast Center in New York. We've got a way of looking at life that's really great. A certain way of feeling life is fine. Put it all together. Come around and see what's really here. The world's a place, a place to love and love. Okay, Tahiti. Eight days, seven nights, six people in a room, plus a free rum swizzle for only $1,100 per person. That's one expensive swizzle. Now here's one. Hawaiian holiday, seven laugh-filled days, six romantic nights, one free muku muku wapu wa'a with every day for, uh, $725. Aloha, Hawaii. Yeah, and I guess we never get to try a makuuka pa. Well, it's just as well we're never going. <laughs> okay, Acapulco. Let's see. Seven days, six nights, two free margaritas, plus a free dance and tennis lesson with your pro Gomez. For only... $425. That is not bad. No. Well, I figure that if you and I stay completely within budget for the next month, we can probably make it as far south as Trenton, New Jersey. <laughs> you know, the trouble is we do not make enough money to live in the style we would like to become accustomed to. Julius? <laughs> uh, we could get another job. Another job? Yeah, I mean, we could moonlight. Moonlight? No, it's against company policy. Well, nobody has to know. Well, I don't know. I mean, what could we do? Well, we could uh, walk dogs or babysit. Mm. <clears throat> well, uh, we could uh, work in a factory, work in a restaurant. Julia, what about a donut shop? A donut shop? <laughs> no, my Uncle Vito, he owns a donut shop on 10th Avenue. Maria, what are you and I going to do in a donut shop? Sell bicycles. What do you mean? We're gonna do it. <laughs> so, uh, hello, Vito? Yeah, yeah, hi, this is your niece Maria. Yeah, uh, listen, you need any help down there? <laughs> Great! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hello, Tony. I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. <laughs> uh, you know, I was sitting in my office and the strangest thing occurred to me. You know what it was? What? what? Well, I felt I was surrounded by this deafening silence, and then I realized there was something missing. The sound of work. <laughs> Tony, we were thinking. And thinking is seldom noisy. Well, obviously, you were not thinking about Barton's pantyhose or any of our other clients. Girls, let me explain to you the concept of vacations. Now, first you do a lot of work, and then you get a little time off to relax to come back to do a lot more work. But, Tony, that's not... Think of it this way. Life is a sandwich. Your vacation is merely a thin slice of salami surrounded by two thick slices of work. <laughs> get it? No work, no salami. <laughs> Got, Got it. it. Well, Jules, this is it. Yo, Vito! <laughs> Tell you, Julia Peters, when we are lying on that beach in Acapulco, you are gonna thank me for this. Oh, gosh, there's more to making donuts than I thought. That's yeah, a singe. I used to help out all the time when I was a kid. Yo, Vito! Hi, girls. Welcome to the wonderful world of Dominic's Donuts. Hey! Oh, this is my friend, Julia Peters. Hey, Julia, how are you? Well, Nino, I appreciate you letting us work here. It's all right. Now, the credo of Dominic's Donuts 
is that when the customer orders, they get it hot, fresh, and fast. Sounds like my date for the senior prom. Oh, yeah, but no sense of you, my yeah. love. It. Did you know, Julia, that her father and me were supposed to be partners in this business? Oh, really? Sure, we were gonna call it Benino and Benino. <laughs> but her father's a little stubborn. He wanted his Benino to come first. Benino, I need one blueberry. Okay, well, uh, uh, I'll get the apron. All right, now, this way. She orders a blueberry, this is what you do. Let me see. All right. You get the donor, right? Stick the nozzle in here, you give it one squirt. One squirt, I make a profit. Two squirts, I'm out of business. With chocolate. With chocolate, all right. And shake it. And shake it. <laughs> Same thing goes for the shakes as for the squirts. One shake, I make a profit. Two shakes. You're out of business. That's hey! it. Don't touch me. <laughs> now, look, look at this. Hey. Pure artistry, eh? Huh? <laughs> hey, Lorraine, pick it up. Uh, Lorraine, this is Lorraine. She works the front. Lorraine, say hello to the two new girls. More two new girls? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> One is my niece. So what? <laughs> you see why I have to be up front? She does not possess the charm of the Boninos. You got it? Okay. Hey, now remember, you're artists. Hey, Vito! Some jerk out here is complaining his whipped cream is sour. <laughs> see, she doesn't know how to handle people, uh huh? Go to work. All right, fatso, you don't like my whipped cream? Mail it to Ralph Nader. All right, who's next? Well, thank goodness somebody around here is diplomatic. All right, ordering two cherries with glaze. Make one light and make one very heavy for my good buddy, Officer Muldoon. Hey, uh, make them both the same. It's all right. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do the cherry, you do the glaze. Okay. lumps in my glaze. Oh. Well, Jules, I think the object is to finish them before the customers die of old age. <laughs> Too slow, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, hello, Lorraine. Okay. What's the story with you two? What? Where do you come from and what are you doing here? And what are you looking at? <laughs> Well, uh, I'm Vito's niece, and this is my friend, Julia Peters. I know that, but why are you here? Why does he have you working here to spy on me? No, no, no. <laughs> We're just working here. Well, see that you just work and that you are Z and Z. <laughs> what? Deaf and dumb. <laughs> oh, you don't call me. You don't say nothing, hear nothing, Say nothing. Technically, that would be D, D, and B. What? <laughs> hey, where are those glazed cherries? These people are getting ugly out here, and there's a guy drooling on the counter. I'm having a conference, Vito. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> if you ladies are thinking about advancement in this organization, you better forget about it. There's only room for two of us up front. Me, Vito, and the cash register. Technically, that's three. Shut up. <laughs> you know, Maria, if I eat one more donut, I'm gonna die. And they'll probably bury me in a round casket with a hole in the middle. <laughs> okay, girls. First week's pay. Oh, great! All right, now you all work six hours a night, three dollars an hour, seven nights. It's a grand total of 126 apiece! Hey! Hey! Less three dollars for spoilage, three dollars for uniform rentage, and four dollars for breakage. So I take one from you and one from you. It's nice. Uh, we didn't break any dishes. What dishes? Donuts. You broke four, she broke six. But don't worry about it. You're doing terrific. Back to work. Yeah, Vito, that's not fair. Hey, Mr. Benino. Not fair. Well, as my sainted mother used to say, 
non può che i pazienti. Gandhi che ti passa, la vita è una caragna. What did that mean? We're not getting our money back. All right, I need 108 chocolate with sprinkles. 108? You heard me. Who just came in, the National Guard? <laughs> Julia, uh, uh, battle stations. One. Two. Hey, where are those donuts? These people are starting to chew on the counter. Three. Julia, that is not the way you do 108 donuts. This is the way you do 108 donuts. Okay, Maria. If it's mass production you want, mass production you're gonna get. Uh, 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 Lorraine, I was just brushing the jelly off your dress, that's all I mm -hmm. You don't have to squeeze it to brush it off. <laughs> Look, just because I work here does not give you the right to violate my personage. <laughs> I am leaving you, Vito. Lorraine, you leave me. There ain't a donut shop in town that'll hire you. Who cares? It just so happens I have been given a responsible position as a toll person with the Port Authority. <laughs> so the next time you go over the George Washington Bridge, you better have the exact change. I don't use the bridge. I swim to Jersey. <laughs> so long, girls. You got what you wanted. Fingers Benino is all yours. <laughs> In great. How do you like that, huh? You believe that? I brought her into my donut family, and what does she give me? A hole in my heart. Oh, Vito. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, put on a clean apron and come out front here. Oh, oh great! W wait a second. You mean I have to stay back here all by myself? That's right. From now on, only the family works the front. Yeah, Moon Hey. Oh, hey, Jules, I'm sorry, but uh, business is business. And family is family. <laughs> business is business, jewels and family is family. <laughs> Are these the same pencils we always use? Yeah. Boy, they seem much harder to lift. Maria? What is the first sign of a nervous breakdown? I think it's when your pencil feels heavy. <laughs> Julia, Maria, do either of you know a hitman who works Madison Avenue? <laughs> what? I'd like to have Tony McVeigh creatively assassinated. <laughs> Didn't like your idea, huh? Well, Tony thinks I don't understand the average woman just because I'd rather die than be one. Well, what was your idea? Buy Barton's pantyhose and be prepared for close encounters of any kind. Hi, guys. Yeah. Hey, April, that dress really looks great on you. Yes. Only this morning it sent me a thank you note. <laughs> Guys, you know you always accuse me of being cheap, right? Yeah. So, to show you how wrong you are, I have bought us all a treat. Hey, that's wonderful. Donuts. Go ahead, take as many as you want. Uh, no, thank you, Eddie. I just joined a religion where it's against the rules to eat anything with a hole in it. <laughs> 
Guys, Craig Boatwright, the prince of packaging, has done it again. Tell them your idea, Craig. Picture this. With every pair of Barton hose, you get an exact replica of Farrah Fawcett's foot. <laughs> an example of what not to do. Jeepers. <laughs> Let's hear what the creative staff has come up with. Maria? We have an ad. We have an ad showing Siamese twin hold-up men using Barton's pantyhose for masks. <laughs> Julia? Well, Tony, the ideas that I've been formulating haven't crystallized as of yet into a cohesive form that uh, sufficiently expresses the conceptual intent of the, um, stuff. All right, girls, what's wrong? Why haven't you two been with it for the past week? Tony, look, the truth is that we needed money for our vacations and we've been working nights in a donut shop. You're moonlighting. Say, that's against the rules. <laughs> Look, we know it's against company policy, but it was only for a few weeks, so we didn't think you'd mind. Mind? No. Well, let's put it this way. Unless a brilliant idea for Barton Hosiery is on my desk first thing in the morning, your moonlighting days are over. But, Tony, we need that money. You wouldn't really stop us from working there. Would you? Oh, absolutely not. But I could stop you from working here. <laughs> oh, the rain, the one blueberry with glaze, one cream filled chocolate hole, the sprinkles, one plain, one sugar, one raspberry. Please. Hey, customer in a hurry. Let's go move it back here. I am doing the best I can. Yeah, right. Get back there. When you finish, I need six vanilla. Remember, not so heavy on the sprinkles. You're going to put us out of business. <laughs> Maria? Would you come back here for a minute, please? Jules, I'm busy up here. Maria, I think it's time we had a little chat. Oh, all right. Julia, what is it? Maria, I can't stand this anymore. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? You have been treating me like your slave. Oh, I have not. Yes, you have. <laughs> Why did you do that? an accident. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was latent hostility. <laughs> there was nothing latent about it. <laughs> You're jealous, because by blood and ability, I am in a superior position to you. <laughs> Maria, let me tell you something. You know, if I were really angry about your insufferable attitude, I wouldn't squirt you like that. I'd squirt you like this. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the way you want it. That's the way you'll get it.
the sight of Julia Peters squirting somebody with a hose. Wait, wait a minute. That is a great idea. What? Hose! Hose! Um, okay, wait, I gotta call Tony. Maria, hurry up with those donuts, huh? I'll be there in a second, Uncle Vito. Uh, 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 hello, hello, Tony. Tony, listen, we got it. Okay, now listen to this. This is the idea for the Barton's pantyhose. We call them hose, and we spell it H-O-Z-E, and we package them in a tube shaped like a garden hose. <laughs> right. Yes, Tony, yes. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, what's going on? My love! <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> Look at my place. You ruined it. Look at the merchandise all over everything. It was an accident. <laughs> busted my donut shop! You, go home. You, you're flying. I gotta get in touch with Lorraine. Uh, serves me right. Sir, watch out. It serves me right. <laughs> Hello, operator, give me the George Washington Bridge. It shows me right, hiring college girls. College girls are all stupid, dumb, and undependable. Hello, Bridge, I'd like to talk to Lorraine Preciosa. Well, I guess it's so long, Acapulco. Wrong. Tony liked her idea so much, she's given us a bonus. Really? <laughs> and I'm gonna dock you $25, not only for spoilage and breakage, but for general aggravation. <laughs> oh, uh, Lorraine, listen. $25 for spoilage, breakage, and general aggravation. You want to try for 30? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Vito! Yeah, what is that? Recorded before a live audience. 